Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about areas of parallelograms. Okay, so you've probably done a rectangle before. Um, and a rectangle, the area of any rectangle is the base times the height. So if this thing is uh, too high and say four wide, you can count up the squares in there and the area is eight, right? Because area is base times height. So in this case, that's 2 times 4, which is 8. Okay, so just a quick refresher there. So here's the thing, is the area of a parallelogram is also base times height. Okay, so this is the base, <clears throat> all right? Now the height's a little different here because you don't use, this is not the height. This is called the slant height, that's something else. That's used for perimeter, it's not used for area. Okay, um, it says the area is the base times the height. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of look at this here, here for just a second. So <clears throat> there we go. So here I have the height of the uh, parallelogram. Okay, so it's you got a 90 degree angle down here at the bottom. You got a 90 degree angle up here at the top. <coughs> okay, bear with me. I'm going to reset this. It's not writing in the right place. Okay, so now here's the thing. So if I take this triangle right here and I cut this triangle off, I just slid it right here, a pair of scissors, and I move it over to here. Okay, so this triangle would fit perfectly in right here. And now this shape that's now made right here is now a rectangle, okay? And this is the base, or the same as this right here. That's the base, and it's the same as, as this base because you just take this piece off and add it over here. And then this is the height, okay? So that's why the area of a parallelogram comes out to be base times height just like a rectangle, okay? So here's another uh, parallelogram. If I cut off this little triangle right here and I move it over here, I get another rectangle now. Here's my base, here's my height, area is base times height. It works every time. Okay, so find the area of each parallelogram. So the first thing that I always want you to do is I always want you to write down the formula. Area equals base times height. Always write down the formula. Okay, and then fill in where everything goes. So I'm looking for the area. I know that the base is 12. I know that the height is 14. So I just need to, I just need to do uh, 12 times 14. So let's see, that'd be 140 plus 12 would be 152 plus another 12 would be 164. Wait, 144 plus 12 would be 156. Plus another 12 would be 168. And that would be in square meters. Okay, so here's the thing is, you know, if I'm measuring perimeter, I'm adding up the sides, I'm measuring in meters here. But when I measure area, I'm always measuring square. So if we go back here and look, notice I, I counted, I got eight. It's eight square units right here. Okay, so this has got to be in square units. <clears throat> if you leave that part off, it's going to be wrong. Okay, so uh, you could pause the video here and do this problem and then jump back on and see how you did. Okay, so this one, the area is the base times the height. And uh, the base is going to be 8.5 and the height is going to be 4. Okay, and that's going to come out to be 34 uh, square feet. Now, here's the thing. You say square feet, but you always put the square after the feet. Do not write this, 34 square feet like this. That is wrong. Uh, that's 34 squared, which is a pretty big number, feet. It's 34 squared of these things. What we want is we want 34 of 
these things right here. Okay, so the square always comes after the feet. Don't do this. Okay. So there you go. Uh, find the areas of these parallelograms. So I'll let you pause the video here. There's three of them for you to do. Give them a shot and uh, jump back on and see how you did. Okay, so this one here, area is base times height. So the, the base is 20. The height is 25. So this is going to come out to be 500. And that's going to be in square meters. So you got 500 square meters for that one. Now look how far the, the height of this thing is clear out here, right? Because it's kind of like, if you had climbed up this parallelogram and you fell off, okay, how far would you fall? You'd fall that distance right there. You're not going to fall along here. You're going to fall straight down. So um, that's why you're using that number. Okay, so again, area is base times height. So this is uh, 7 times 18. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Let's see, 7 times 18. That's going to be uh, 56, 126 square inches. Fun stuff. Okay, then finally over here, again, area is base times height. The base, now it's over here on the side, okay, so this is really the, the base right here. Um, it's 30, and the height is 20.5 feet. Okay, so let's see. A little mental math here. 20 times 30 is 600. And 30 times a half would be 15. So this would be 615. And this is in square yards. Okay, so hopefully you got all three of those right. All right, find the area of the parallelogram using the grid. Okay, there's a couple ways you can do this. One, you can count the squares here. Now that's a little bit difficult with this one, um, but there's a way to, there's a method for counting the squares here. I probably wouldn't do that on this one. I would look for the base. The base is right here. And just count across, it's two. And then the height is going to be right here. Okay, and that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be five. So the area is the base times the height. That's going to be two times five. So this is 10. Now I don't have a unit on here, but I still need to put units squared. So I can fit 10 of these squares inside of that thing right there. Okay. So you make a photo prop for a, high, or for a school fair. You cut a 10-inch square out of a parallelogram-shaped piece of wood. What is the area of the photo prop? Okay, so <clears throat> here's the thing. It's 8 feet tall and it's 4 feet wide. Okay, so here's the problem. This is measured in feet, so is this. This is measured in inches, so I need to convert one to the other one. It's going to be easier to convert the feet... Uh, to inches. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's see, four feet, this is uh, 48 inches, four times 12. And eight feet is going to be 96 inches. That's eight times 12. And so I'm going to start with the area of the parallelogram, which is going to be base times the height. And that's going to be 96 times 48. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do 96 times 48. Unfortunately, I don't have my calendar or calculator with me. Uh, that's 48, that's 76, that's 0, that's 24, that's 38. Add those things up, that's going to be 4,608. Right, 8, 10, 60, yep. Okay, so the area is going to be... 4,608, but I need to subtract the area of the square from this. OK, 
Okay, so that's going to be a, a square is just base times height. And since it's 10 and 10, it's going to be 10 times 10, which is 100. And so the area is 4,508 square inches. And you're done. Okay, so you're going to get to do this lesson, numbers 1 through 25 odd in class, and I look forward to seeing you guys. I will talk with you later.